Wolfgang Van Halen has come a long way. He used to be made fun of as a Nippo baby, but now he is one of the most respected band leaders in history. Wolfgang Van Halen made his own name in the music business after teaching himself to play the guitar and becoming a musical genius. He didn't rely on his father's fame to do so. If you want to know how much work Wolfgang Van Halen put into his success and how he really did it, then keep watching as we show you Wolfgang Van Halen's amazing change. At his start in the music business, some people who said they liked Wolfgang Van Halen's songs were very mean to him, calling him a nephew baby everything changed when he was nominated for a Grammy for a song from his first record by himself. It makes sense that Wolfgang was good at music from a young age, since his dad was one of the best guitar players in rock history. The fact that he loved playing the drums more than anything else might surprise some people. He posted a cute picture of himself on Instagram as a kid sitting behind his uncle Alex Van Halen's drum set. In the post, he wrote about how he was getting in a quick jam session while wearing drumsticks that were almost as big as him and playing with his Uggs. When Wolfgang was about eight years old, his dad put some magazines on a table and told him to hit them like a snare drum. Wolfgang recently told the media about this. In the past, his dad had told him that playing the drums was all about keeping the beat. Wolfgang had no idea that this was the start of his singing career that would earn him a huge following. Wolfgang took music more seriously over time and switched from playing with mags to a real drum set. He said he learned to play the drums when he was about nine years old. It was the only thing his dad taught him. When his dad found out he was good at something, he was thrilled. Wolfgang didn't know about his famous parents, Eddie Van Halen and Valerie Bertinelli, until he was older. This was because of how well they raised him. He told media that his mom did a great job of making sure that his childhood felt normal and not too fancy. When Wolfgang told Guitar World that he first noticed that people were acting differently around his parents, it was when they got home from a family trip and were surrounded by reporters at the airport. That was the only strange thing he could remember seeing a lot of flashing lights from the camera. Wolfgang then told Ultimate Classic Rock that he found out the truth about his family's singing history when he was about seven or six years old. This took place while Eddie Van Halen was remastering Wolfgang's band's early records. He also remembers very clearly finding a box with all the albums in it. Inside, he saw his name and a picture of his dad. He asked his dad what it was, and his dad lightly said that it was part of his job. This was one of Wolfgang's first unforgettable sneak peeks into the music business. As Wolfgang got bigger and smarter, he became interested in playing the guitar, which was something his father did for fun. You might be surprised to learn that his father didn't really teach him how to play. It surprised him too. Louder Sound heard Wolfgang say that his dad wasn't the best teacher. Eddie would always act like the famous musician he was when Wolfgang asked him to show him how to play something. Eddie would then tell Wolfgang to copy what he did. Wolfgang thought this was funny and would reply with a sarcastic remark, admitting that it was hard to play like his dad. In a funny way, he showed his anger, being sure that they could never be as good as Eddie. Do you think he meant what he said? Besides that, Wolfgang learned to play the guitar mostly by himself in the end. He said that because his father had also learned to play the guitar on his own, he wanted to do the same. Spin said that it was important for him to get better at what he does and make his own sound. He thought this way of doing things would work. A bad copy of a Van Halen cover band would be all that would be played instead. Wolfgang's guitar skills had gotten a lot better by 2006, so his father asked him to join Van Halen as the new bass player, replacing Michael Anthony, who had been the bassist for a long time. Eddie Van Halen made his son Wolfgang a full member of the band when he was only 15. To some, it may have looked like favoritism, but Eddie claimed it was because of Wolfgang's talent. Walt agreed to play with his dad, but only if he didn't have to play any bass solos. At first, people didn't believe he was good, but Wolfgang proved them wrong during the band's comeback tour with David Lee Roth in 2007 and 2008. Still, some longtime Van Halen fans thought he wasn't worthy of being a new star. Wolfgang told Louder Sound that it was a tough situation for him and that it had a big effect on him. Things got even better after that, Wolfgang was well known as an experienced Van Halen member by 2013. He had played many shows with the band. In that same year, he told them that he was also starting a hard rock band called Tremonti. In a talk with Billboard, he made it clear that he was just as serious about his job in Tremonti as he was with Van Halen. He said that even though Van Halen was his main focus, he thought of Tremonti as a real band that he played with when Van Halen wasn't playing. Wolfgang told Rock Street Journal that his friendship with Tremonti came easily because he had known Mark Tremonti, the guitarist from Creed, for a long time. He remembered that he was in Tremonti's home state of New Jersey when they needed a bass player right away for a tour. He also remembered going over to their place late one night to learn the whole set. The next day, they went on tour together. Eddie Van Halen said in 2001 that he was getting treatment for tongue cancer. In the end, he said that he had beaten the sickness 
In 2002, he was officially declared cancer free. Cancer came back, which was sad, and he died of it in 2020, when he was 65 years old. Since Wolfgang was very close to his father, Eddie's death was very hard for him. He told Carson Daly that it was really hard, that some days were better than others, and that the pain felt like it would never go away, but that he was getting better at dealing with it. Wolfgang told them he was having a terrible day, but was trying to stay upbeat when they asked how he was. Elvis Presley's death was a huge loss for everyone in the music business and for Wolfgang as well. His dad was more than just a rock star, he said. He was also a loving dad and his best friend in many ways. Sometime after Wolfgang Van Halen's dad, Eddie Van Halen, died a few years before, he and his mom, Valerie Bertinelli, felt like they had to speak out against a new TV show. Eddie was the well-known guitarist for Van Halen. This show was going to look into his life and death. This is from a show called Autopsy, The Last Hours of On Reels, whose goal is to find out how famous people died. Reels' website says that the show will recreate the last moments of these famous people by using important medical information from their bodies. A forensic pathologist named Dr. Michael Hunter was supposed to give some information in the episode about Eddie Van Halen. He would look at every part of Eddie's life to try to figure out what might have been wrong with his health and caused him to die so soon. In the show description, it was said that Dr. Hunter would look closely at Eddie's life to learn more about how he died. On Twitter, Van Halen said that Reels was very bad. He didn't hold back when he wanted to say that he didn't agree. His words were disgusting, and he thought it was sad and cruel that they were trying to make a cancer patient's death look glamorous and make money at the same time. It was clear that he didn't like how things were being managed. Bertinelli also joined the conversation. She gave her son support by saying on Twitter that she thought the whole thing was disgusting as well. When people complained, Real supported their episode and the whole show. They said that Autopsy, the last hours of looks into the deaths of well-known celebrities who are missed by many in a serious way. The network said that their show gets a lot of feedback from viewers, such as medical professionals who like how accurate it is, fans who feel like it helps them find closure, and many others who learn useful things about health problems. That might not get enough attention any other way. There's more. Even though Eddie and Bertinelli got split in 2007, she wrote in her book enough already learning to love the way I am today that she saw him as her soulmate. She told the media that she thinks people meet other souls to help them get through the hard parts of life. Bertinelli said that another part of their trip was giving birth to their son Wolfgang Van Halen. She said that her feelings are very private and that it's hard for other people to understand them. She also said that she had never felt love like that before. Bertinelli thought about their relationship and said that even though there were some hard times, there were also many good times that trumped the bad. She said that the love she had for Eddie was different from all the other love she had been through. Bertinelli talked about how important the bond she had with Ed was, one she had never really had with anyone else. To the contrary, Wolfgang told the media that his father still inspires him to get over his sadness and fully enjoy life, even though he has died. He said that his father gives him a lot of strength and that if he gave up and hid away, which is something he often wants to do, his father would be very mad at him. Wolfgang also said that the main thing that keeps him going is his dad. Wolfgang spent his time in the recording studio working on the songs for his first album, Mammoth WVH, which came out in 2021, when he wasn't on tour with Van Halen or Tremonti. The task of playing every instrument and carefully recording each part was something Wolfgang took on and worked on for many years. He told the press that he was responsible for everything about the project, from playing to writing. This put a lot of pressure on him, but also made him feel free to be creative. Wolfgang didn't have a clear idea of what the record would become when he first started making it. His ideas came from the first Foo Fighters record, on which Dave Grohl played all the instruments. But he wasn't sure if he could be as successful. What an important record that was for Wolfgang. He talked about it on social media a year after the album came out. He said it was the result of many years of long hours, mistakes, grief, worry, and feeling like you've lost something. He said it was the start of a new part of his life that he wasn't sure he was ready for, but he chose to accept it anyway. He knew the next step was to go on tour and play his songs, live after his first album came out. Mammoth WVH. The name Mammoth came from a band his dad led before he put together Van Halen. NPR talked to Wolfgang who said that he had always loved that name whenever his dad told the story. He told himself that he would name his own record and band after it when he got older. His singing journey didn't end there, just like he thought it would. Wolfgang was in a new place when he became the lead singer of his own rock band. He said on the Walking the Floor with Chris Shiflett podcast that he wasn't trying to be like David Lee Roth or any of the other artists he had worked with. 
He told them that he was mostly just being himself. He thought it might be a little dull, but he believed it was important to be himself. Wolfgang was nominated for his first Grammy for Best Rock Song for his single Distance, which was from his official debut record. Wolfgang shared a picture on Instagram with his mother, Valerie Bertinelli, and his girlfriend at the time, Andrea Alsop, to celebrate this success. In his post, he said that they showed up to see the nod but didn't win, which was fine. He was proud to be nominated for the first song he put out on his own, especially in a field with artists he had looked up to his whole life. He told them that he wasn't sure if the nod would ever really hit him. He talked about how his dad, Eddie Van Halen, didn't win a Grammy on his first try, so he felt like he was just following in his dad's path. His mom was thrilled and told everyone how proud she was of her son. In an interview with Noise11.com, Wolfgang talked more about how he felt and said that being recognized as an equal in the area of songwriting was a big deal for him. He thought it was a win just to be nominated for a Grammy with bands like Weezer, Foo Fighters, and The Beatles, who he had loved all his life. It was during that conversation that he talked about the experience and how important it was to him. He made it clear that the honor he was given was more than just a title, it was proof of his hard work and skill. Wolfgang talked about how being in the same group as those famous bands made the moment even more special for him. Wolfgang and Alsop, a photographer, met online and went on their first date on October 15th, 2015. And now, on the same day eight years later, they got married at their home in Los Angeles. People Magazine said that about 90 people attended the event. Alsop said that their main goal was to get together with their closest family and friends. They wanted the wedding to be a happy event for everyone who cares about them, not just them and their family and friends. Wolfgang picked the instrumental song 316 Inches by Van Halen to play as they walked down the aisle as a tribute to his late father. This song was unique because the musician wrote it for his son. Their wedding was not only a memorable event for them, but it was also an emotional get together where their loved ones could share their happiness. Not only that, Bertinelli was thrilled that her son had found a sweetheart to spend the rest of his life with. She told the press that they really do understand each other. The way they laugh is a lot alike. They do things together that they enjoy, and they know how to give each other room. She thought they were very at ease together. That made her happy for them? That same year, Wolfgang Van Halen had his own record, a successful concert tour, and was even nominated for a Grammy. He was also getting a lot of attention for his work on the music for the big movie Barbie, he played the guitar on Ryan Gosling's big song, I'm Just Ken, which he performed with Guns N' Roses Slash. With The Morning Call, he talked about how crazy it was to be in the Oscars act with Gosling. I feel a little out of place, but I'm still excited. He felt like the Barbie movie would connect with people, but he didn't know it would become such a big hit. He talked about how cool it was to play a small part in the project and how much he liked it. Wolfgang's second record, Mammoth 2, came out in August of last year, not long after Barbie. On it, he played all the instruments himself. Wolfgang has been accused of being a Nippo baby by more than just his fans. David Roth Lee said he didn't like Wolfgang during a chat on the Atlanta radio show The Morning X. The hosts of the show said they didn't understand what Roth meant by the comments he made in a YouTube video he posted in January of this year. When they talked about it, they said they weren't sure what he was trying to say. Roth took the chance to make things clear for them by explaining his position on the subject. He said that he thought his words were misread and that he wanted to explain his point of view. The hosts listened as he went into more detail about his ideas, hoping that this would help people understand both his original message and how they saw it. You might be wondering what was in the movie. Roth made fun of Van Halen and hinted at problems with unfair treatment of artists in the music business. Someone faked Wolfgang Van Halen in the video and said that he wanted everyone to know that he got his job because of his skills. He was adamant that he would still have this job if his father wasn't a famous rock star. His only goal was to make it clear that his skill was what made him successful. The doppelganger then said that people should see his skills and not just think of him as someone who got off easy because his dad was his dad, which made Wolfgang angry. He really wanted to show that he was good enough for the part on his own. Van Halen said it makes him happy that someone cares so much about him. He said that even though it's nice to be recognized, people shouldn't believe everything they hear, especially since the person also said they wrote the famous song Eruption, which has Eddie Van Halen's famous guitar solo. Wolfgang thought about how he feels like he was born into the ongoing story about Van Halen. Now that his father isn't around to be the center of attention, it looks like he is the next person being targeted. He wasn't sure what to do about this. Wolfgang also said that they could not get back together without his dad and made it clear that it would not happen. It was clear to him that he doesn't want to play that song without his dad. 
Roth announced his retirement in 2021 by writing in a piece for the Las Vegas Review Journal that he was throwing in the towel a lot of Nippo kids have gone on to become famous on their own, like Jennifer Aniston and Ben Stiller. Wolfgang Van Halen is one of them. People used to compare him to his father, Eddie Van Halen, but he was glad that they weren't saying that as much because more and more people saw how talented he was. Today, Wolfgang Van Halen is proud of the man he has become and the reputation he has built for himself.